Distinguished platform guests, ladies and gentlemen, and especially our sponsor, Diane Donald. It is my privilege and great honor to welcome you to the keel laying ceremony for the Virginia class submarine, Indiana, SSN 789. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together to celebrate this glorious milestone for the mighty warship Indiana, SSN 789. The submarine Indiana marks the second time that Newport News Shipbuilding has built an, a ship named after the Hoosier State. While many things have changed with shipbuilding in the 76 years since the battleship Indiana's keel was laid, one thing still holds true to this day is the pride and commitment of her shipbuilders both here in Newport News and at Electric Boat. The submarine Indiana is our 16th Virginia class submarine. Directly behind me is a portion of her bow section. While this is just one small piece of the submarine, it gives you a glimpse of just how incredibly complex and massive these 21st century machines are. I've stood here now at multiple keel lanes, and I never cease to be amazed at what you and your team accomplish. We talk every six months now about yet another milestone in a record of producing submarines ahead of schedule, under cost, highest quality ever. As if it were easy, it's not easy. And as we go forward, if we're going to continue to do that, your effort here needs the support of the entire country. So again, I thank you for what you do. The rest of us owe you the support so you can continue that magnificent performance. Today, we officially welcome a new member to the ranks of our team, our sponsor, Diane Donald. While Diane's initials may be the only ones visible today, this submarine will also carry with her the names of her shipbuilders, shipbuilders who sign their name to every job they perform. Shipbuilders who take great pride in building the finest submarines in the world for the world's greatest Navy. I have been seated in the audience in this shipyard for many events, but I got to tell you, this view and this view are awesome. <laughs> Growing up in the blue collar town of McKeesport, Pennsylvania, during the height of Big Steel, I was surrounded by skilled tradesmen of all varieties. This is where I learned a true appreciation and respect for the challenge of building things, complicated things, with your hands and under difficult conditions of weather, confined spaces, and the constant dangers of even the most modern heavy machinery. I extend that same admiration and respect to the shipbuilders here today who represent the thousands who will do their part to build another world-class submarine for our great nation. I look forward to visiting as often as I can so I can cheer you on as you ready the next big eye for sea. Now let's do it! <laughs> and now the moment you've been waiting for, let me introduce our welder, Ms. Heather Johnson. the keel of this United States submarine, Indiana, truly and fairly laid. <laughs> 